How's it going everybody? This is Seer here and we're continuing our Dark Dimension adventure with the second legendary node today. We have three nodes left to go so that goal line is in sight. I'm feeling really good right now and I've been feeling pretty confident as far as what we've been able to accomplish so far. Now I do want to let you know that this one is not going to be a one shot. This one here is pretty difficult because of the opening wave. There's a lot of shield troopers out there and it's pretty difficult to recover from that. However, I feel that the run that I did on this is actually really good. Now, hopefully whoever that next legendary character is, is able to slot in here and makes it to where this run is a lot easier to deal with. Let's go ahead and check out the characters that I'll be using today. So just to give a quick recap, the characters that we brought in today are going to be Old Man Logan and Rogue, and then we have Nova, Green Goblin Classic, and Black Cat. As far as the Isos go, we do have everybody as a striker and Old Man Logan as a skirmisher. That way we can really take advantage of those triple hits because of those shield troopers and the waves that end up coming down. Once we get to the second half of the node, we do end up making an ISO change. Old Man Logan will also be a striker, and I made Green Goblin Classic and Rogue a raider. So as you see, because of the placement and the characters that's on the field with the new Avengers and all those shield troopers, this is going to be pretty difficult. There's also going to be a Ghost Rider Robbie out there, so you need to try to make sure we control him, but we need to be mindful of those shield trippers because of those retaliates that they'll be doing. Old Man Logan will start by doing the ultimate into that Ghost Rider Robbie. Black Cat's only able to basic. Now for Green Goblin Classic, we do end up doing the special into that Ghost Rider Robbie. We wanted to get that turn meter rewind on him, even though we had to take a little bit of punishment. Once we get that control down for the Ghost Rider Robbie, we do end up shifting over to the Agent Coulson because you do need to be mindful of who's going to be taking those hits from those shield troopers. Old Man Logan is able to use the special into that Mockingbird. We wanted to do that so that way she wouldn't actually get more troopers out there and the heals on the entire team. We were able to take out the Agent Coulson, so we do have one character actually killed off right now. When it gets back to Black Hat's turn, we do end up doing the basic into the Ghost Rider Robbie, and we were able to take care of him. Old Man Logan's able to use the ultimate into that Mockingbird, and you are doing pretty good damage right now. However, those shield troopers are pretty pesky right now. When it gets to Nova's turn, I had to be careful because I didn't want to take too much damage from those shield troopers, but I really need to get some damage out on the board. I end up targeting the middle of the shield troopers because I wanted to try to kill one of those off. That way we can actually get a gap between the shield troopers so we're not taking so much damage. When it comes to Green Goblin Classic's turn, I do end up targeting towards the left side of the field to where he's only get, get shot by one of the shield troopers. Mockingbird does end up getting one of her abilities off and she was able to summon out some more of the minions. Right now my goal is to actually work down those shield troopers. I need to get those killed off before they end up doing too much damage to me. Old Man Logan does end up getting his turn up, which is actually pretty good. I do end up targeting the yo-yo and use the special. I wanted to get rid of her mainly because of the offense downs that she throws out at us whenever she takes a turn. When it comes to Black Hat's turn, I do end up using the special into the Quake. Mainly I wanted to try to get a nice rebound chain in there. We were able to kill two of the shield trippers, so there's only one left. However, you see the damage that's been done to our team. Now when it does come back to Old Man Logan, I do end up doing the basic into the yo-yo. I didn't want to burn the ultimate because of the following wave that will be coming down. So we were able to kill off all the shield troopers, and now we just have to worry about a yo-yo, a mockingbird, and a minion. So at this point, we are able to start farming a lot of our abilities up.
The next wave does end up coming down, and you do see there's some pretty big threats on the board. We have a Ghost Rider Robbie, a Cosmic Ghost Rider, and a regular Ghost Rider. We're going to try to control the Ghost Rider Robbie first. And Green Goblin Classic turn does come up. We do stay on the Ghost Rider Robbie and end up using the special here. I want to get that turn meter rewind on him because I didn't want him to use a special on us. Unfortunately, the shield trooper that was behind him did end up taking out our Green Goblin Classic. For Nova's turn, we end up using the special into that Ghost Rider Robbie. Old Man Logan's turn comes up, and we end up using the special into the Mockingbird. I want to get that trauma stun on her. For Rogue's turn, we end up targeting one of the shield troopers and end up using the ultimate so we can get a stun on him. The main reason I want to do that is so that way I didn't have to worry about any retaliates if we end up hidden into that clump of characters over there. Old Man Logan's turn comes up, we end up using the ultimate into that Ghost Rider Robbie. For Black Hat's turn, we end up targeting the Ghost Rider and using the special. We got a trauma stun on him. Because we're going to start killing characters off, I didn't want to take any of those retaliates from him. The Ronin is going to be a big problem, as you see. He just used his ultimate into us and almost took out our Black Cat. Nova is able to get to his ultimate ability, so we used the ultimate and now we have the Nova Force on the board. At this point, we're just going to try to focus down that Ghost Rider Robbie, so that way we can try to get him killed off. For Black Cat's turn, we end up using the ultimate into the Ronin. I want to get that turn meter rewind on him, because he's going to keep using that ultimate pretty much every turn if I recall. For Old Man Logan's turn, we end up using the special into that Cosmic Ghost Rider, so now we did get a trauma stun on him. I want to make sure that he didn't use his special on us, which would end up messing up our entire team. Old Man Logan's turn comes back up, we do end up using the ultimate into the regular Ghost Rider. We were able to do some pretty good damage to the entire team because of that. Because of the placement, Nova was able to do the basic, and he took out quite a few characters right there. For Rogue's turn, we do end up using the basic into the Cosmic Ghost Rider. We have some pretty good control right now, so we can start saving a lot of our abilities at this time. The wave that just dropped down is going to be a pretty big issue. As you see, there is a Red Hulk, an Abomination, some Shield Troopers out there, and a Brawn. So the Gamma combined with the Ghost Rider and the Shield Troopers is a pretty big deal. Black Hat is able to use the Special on the Red Hulk to get a Trauma Stun on him. Old Man Logan uses the Special on the Ghost Rider Robbie, so that way we got a Trauma Stun on him as well. We are going to try to focus down that Red Hulk first, so Nova does do the basic into him. For Rogue's turn, we end up targeting the Brawn and use the Special. Old Man Logan's turn comes up, we go back to the Red Hulk and use the Ultimate. For Black Cat's turn, we do end up doing the basic into that Red Hulk so we can get a nice turn made to rewind on him. Old 
Old Man Logan's turn does come back up. We do use that special into that Ghost Rider Robbie. I want to try to get some pretty good control on him, but his turn just came up, so that stun did end up wearing off. Nova does the basic into the Red Hulk, and we were able to get him killed off. The next wave does come down, and Black Cat's turn does come up. We end up using that basic into the Ghost Rider Robbie. We're going to try to see if we can take him out. For Rogue's turn, we do end up using the ultimate into that Ghost Rider, mainly because if we get any more kills, I didn't want them to kill us off. We do end up losing Rogue, Old Man Logan's turn comes up, we target the regular Ghost Rider and use the ultimate. At this point, I know that we're going to end up wiping, so I'm going to start conserving my abilities and prepare for the following hit. I felt that was a pretty good hit. We killed 22 characters, so we are exactly halfway through the node. As far as the damage that we did, we did 345, almost 346 million points of damage, and I felt really good about this. I should be able to go in on the second hit and just finish off the entire node. As I mentioned at the start of the video, I did end up swapping some ices around. Grigaba Classic and Rogue are now going to be a raider. And Old Man Logan is now a striker, so that way we can try to hit into Vulnerable with him to start getting some turn meter. Black Hat's going to start off by doing the ultimate into one of the Ghost Riders. Old Man Logan's going to follow that up by doing a special into the other Ghost Rider. Green Goblin Classic's going to end up doing the ultimate so we can get some traumas and some negative effects out there. And right now our main focus is going to be trying to take out those Ghost Riders. We want to take care of them so that way when we start killing characters off, we don't have to worry about those retaliates. Old Man Logan is going to end up using the ultimate into the Abomination, and that does some pretty significant damage to the entire team. Right now, between the Black Cat and the Old Man Logan, I'm trying to hit into vulnerable targets so that way it can do turn meter rewinds and also get turn meter gain with the Old Man Logan. For Green Goblin Classic's turn, I'm going to target into the one Ghost Rider that's almost dead and I'm going to end up using the basic. The Old Man Logan assist does end up taking him out, so one Ghost Rider is finally killed off. For Old Man Logan's turn, I am just going to use the basic into the Abomination. I get the kill and the next wave does end up coming down. This is going to be another new Avenger wave, so you do see some Shield Troopers, Ronin, and the Coulson out there. For Black Cat's turn, I do target one of the shield troopers and use the special so I can get a trauma stun on him and not have to worry about the retaliates on the left side of the board. Old Man Logan does end up using the ultimate into that shield trooper and we're able to get another kill out there. Old Man Logan's turn comes back up, we end up using the special into the other shield trooper, so we got another stun out there on the shield trooper. When it comes to Green Goblin Classic's turn, I do end up doing the basic into the Ronin. We unfortunately do lose our rogue at this point, 
but I think we have some pretty good control on the board to where we can keep pushing through. Oh man, Logan's turn comes back up. We end up using the ultimate onto that Ronin. Again, we get a lot of damage out on the other side of the board. For Black Hat's turn, we do end up using the basic into the brown. I want to get a turn meter rewind on him. Nova's turn does come up and I do have the Nova Force ready, so I am gonna be using that ultimate and I am gonna stay targeted on the Agent Coulson the assist comes in and we do get the kill on him. The next wave does come down and it's more new Avengers. We have two Mockingbirds, we also have two Agent Coulsons and the Ghost Rider out there. Right off the bat I do end up targeting the Mockingbird, however there is also the Red Hulk on the corner. The old man Logan was able to do the special in him, so we do got the trauma stun on him, and now we're going to shift over to the Ghost Rider. Green Goblin Classic is able to do the special into him and get a nice turn meter rewind. Old man Logan's turn comes up, we end up using the ultimate, and that does pepper the enemy team with those traumas and negative effects. Right now we are focusing all of our attention onto that Ghost Rider Robbie. We need to make sure that we get him killed off and at least controlled. Because the Red Hulk is stunned, we are able to keep our attention onto that Ghost Rider Robbie. The Red Hulk does end up coming out of the stun, so now we have to be mindful. We need to try to get back over to him and get some control on him. Oh man, Logan's turn does come back up. We jump back over to that Red Hulk and we use the ultimate that was able to take care of that Ghost Rider Robbie as well. Black Cat's turn comes up, we end up using that special to get the trauma stun on the Red Hulk. And Old Man Logan's now able to use the special as well. We're going to target one of the Mockingbirds on this one so we get the trauma stun on them. Here we do end up losing that Green Goblin Classic, but a lot of the enemy is about to bleed out right now. We're going to stay focused on that Red Hulk though, we want to make sure that we kill him because that Fallen Wave will have another Red Hulk that drops down. Old Man Logan's going to end up using the ultimate into that Red Hulk. For Black Cat's turn, we are able to use that ultimate into the Red Hulk, so we were able to strip his charges off luckily. Old Man Logan, we use that special into the Red Hulk, so we get another trauma stun on him. and Black Hat's able to use the basic into the Red Hulk to get a nice turn meter rewind. For Old Man Logan's turn, I am still going to use that ultimate, even though we are close to the following wave coming down. The next wave does end up coming down, there's two Abominations and the Red Hulk. Nova was able to finish off the one Red Hulk, so we're going to try to do the same thing on this one. Old Man Logan's going to use the special into the Red Hulk, so we do got the trauma stun for the control on him. Old Man Logan's turn comes back up, we end up using that ultimate into the Red Hulk, so we are able to get the trauma on him along with some negative effects.
for Black Cat's turn, we're going to target the Mockingbird that's almost dead and use the Basic. Old Man Logan's going to finish the one Mockingbird off, so now we only have four characters left of this wave. Red Hulk does end up killing Old Man Logan, but he had that revive once. He comes back, we're going to use that special to get another trauma stun on the Red Hulk. For Black Cat, we're going to target one of the Abominations and use the special, so we got a trauma stun on that one while doing some pretty good damage to the Mockingbird. Right now we're going to try to take care of the Abomination. Old Man Logan's going to end up using that ultimate into the Red Hulk. For Old Man Logan's turn, we're going to target the Mockingbird and use the Basic. The Shield Medic did end up bringing out the Agent Coulson, but that's fine. Old Man Logan's just going to use the Special to put another Trauma Stun on the Red Hulk. For Nova's turn, we're going to use the Special into one of the Abominations to get a stun on him. Old Man Logan's going to use the Ultimate into the Red Hulk. And that was able to take care of that Agent Coulson that just got revived. Black Cat's going to use the Basic into the Mockingbird, and that was able to kill her off. Old Man Logan's going to use the Basic into the Abomination. We're going to try to finish that one off real quick. The Red Hulk did unfortunately take out Ernova, but the wave is almost over. Old Man Logan does the Special into the Red Hulk and was able to take care of the other Abomination. So we're just going to try to tone down this Red Hulk, and then we're going to jump over to that Abomination to finish this wave off. So this did end up taking us two hits. That second hit we did 457 million points of damage and we just have two nodes left and we're finished with Dark Dimension 7. Overall I was pretty happy with the team that I used. Like I said though, when the next legendary character comes out, I would definitely drop Rogue even though she did have some good control to her. I kind of have a feeling this next legendary character is going to be pretty bonkers just based on what Old May Logan can do and the new stats that's coming out into the game for these new characters. After finishing both of the legendary nodes, I'm currently ranked 751, so I'm definitely outside of that top 500 that I was aiming for, however, I should be able to still be in about the 700 range, so I'm pretty happy with that, as it's still going to be an improvement over my Dark Dimension 6 run. I do hope that you liked this video, if you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. Until next time, have a wonderful rest of the day.